This is a 1080p project and here is two clips. This one is 4K, this one is 720p. If I just drag and drop this 720p clip on this timeline, you can see it is too small. If I drag this 4K one, it is way more zoomed in. To fix it normally, we adjust the scale, right? But do you know there is a setting that can automate this feature? How did I do that? Well, hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can automate the scale of your video or images when you are dragging this on your timeline. Let's get started. First, let me show you the conventional method which is just by adjusting the scale setting, right? So here is this video which is a 720p video and I am dragging this on a 1080p timeline. So it is looking like a small footage. To adjust it, we need to go to effects control. If you can find it, go to window, then select effects control. Then you will have this panel. And from this panel, select scale and adjust the setting. If you click and drag this to the right, then this number will increase and your video scale will increase. So I'm just adjusting this size. I know that for this video, it will be 150 so here we can fix the issue just by adjusting the scale similar way if you want to uh, import a 4k video then you need to drag it here and then go to effects control and decrease the scale just like this one and for this video i know the size is 50 so this is not a great fix there are several ways that are more efficient than this one so again i'm dragging this file so if i just want to adjust the scale right click on it then go to set to frame size if i just click on it then you can see the video size is adjusting according to my timeline settings and if i go to effects control then this number is increased just by 50 percent right 150 now so again for 4k clips we can do the same settings click on here and set to frame size scale to frame size and set to frame size do the same thing but when you click scale to frame size it is adjusting the sizes but the number is not changing here but if i do the other way if i select set to frame size then this number will decrease so it is efficient for me to click on set to frame size so that we can just modify these settings if i want to do some keyframing adjusting the scale properties for that reason i always select set to frame size so these are the most popular ways to do the same thing but now let me show you how i do this so i'm just deleting this before you drag any clip to your timeline you need to change the settings go to edit then go to preference and then go to media from this media settings you will have a settings called default media scaling click on this drop down menu and select set to frame size and then click ok and from now if you drag and drop any clip to your timeline it will automatically set the size or scale to set to frame size how if i just drag this one watch it out it is automatically adjusting the settings let me drag the 4k one it is automatically adjusting the settings and here in the control panel you can see the scale size is 50 percent it is automatically doing that thing for me for images it will also do that same thing uh, let me show some images if i just drag it here it will automatically set the scale size go to control panel and see the scale properties 31 percent so it is adjusting the setting but you will have some uh, black bars in the in your right or left depending on the image size because the spec ratio of this image is not similar to the spec ratio of our video that is why we are getting this black bar you just need to manually adjust the image size a little bit to match it like this but if the image size is 16 by 9 ratio as like your video timeline then it will automatically adjust the size i have some more video to show you go to video then if i just drag and drop all this video here and if i scrap it you can see all the videos are properly scaled to our timeline settings how cool is that well that's all for today hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video you can give me a thumbs up and if you have interest on premiere pro then you can subscribe to this channel to get more premiere pro related tips and tricks video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye